Spray FM on Alcon Radio. Oh, yes, it is Zulu Spray FM, the first and only truly the African media has on your girl. Ah, your girl. And they hear, yes, so I they tell you, say every Monday, you're welcome for just joining us from one of the international studios of Zulu Spray. That's where I'm speaking. And today, now, skin syndrome. Now, here we get today. And now, here we go talk about because. This skin syndrome, it don't, it don't do too much. And it is actually starting from here. So it is a wake-up call with your girl, Ajo. Okay, if you're just joining us, you're tuned to the right place. This is the only place where we can shake the table, break the table, and fix it again. Many thanks to everybody, all our mothers, our sisters, and brothers. Yes, we are intentional in what we are doing. We are not celebrities, though. Bagan, in fact... If I won't become celeb now, okay, this design, those of now see me before I gather myself to sit down, you go see I'm this is another design created by a joker by herself. And uh, I've decided to go and say that on a Monday, if you have your own office, if you are a CEO or you have your own farm, if you are a farmer, if you are a tailor, if you are any to be saying a correct share, no be contractor tailor. The ones where they do for government, not be that one, no. Where Papa Fela Nicola could talk about. So, this so if you be original, even if now one era, one dollar, one pence, you they earn. Feel free, be proud to design your own African way on a Monday. That bada, that shad and shiki, wear your traditional outfit. That is why they tell you, say, now you and I go fix Africa. And you imagine when you start your own office. I look forward to that. No, they call them shop again, call them office. Because as you they call them office, you go, they begin to they design them like an office. If they call them shop, before you know it, you go turn them to shop, or you call them shop, you go turn them to shop. So, but just imagine, say, this time my own office. I be going to do a daily, your own language, be once a week, be, I could lie, lie, I could 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 lie, Ti aba ti rira ni ti pe e ku ati on la nki ra ni akibo gba awon ti je pe won ti tele ki a to te e mo ni wi pe won ni mo to ba ti so lenu o ti so apoya ko na ni ki a ma ba je mi ni mo se nki yin wi pe gbogbo eyi loba loba lade lade ni joye ni joye ni to to yin baba wa rere ya wa rere ti e je wi pe oja aran te fi npo wa ko ni bo la se du mare a o de ni jabo leyin mo ki yin o mo bo su bara bende fun yin wi pe sa ki yin o Benny, the thing we are just talk we say I thank all the people we don't go before us because for Africa we always eulogize, reverence that which is ours. Tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. you to go back home, go check out for your own language. This is Dudu Spring now here with the talk camp for indigenous African languages. And if you are there too, your own language, they important come speak and skin syndrome, the dark versus light skin. This syndrome is affecting many of us and we have to wake up. Some of us, we are not even proud of our own color. That is the long and short of this wake up call. Are you proud of your color? Hmm? Or you want somebody to be proud of you with your color? Yes, I want me to see, see me very well. The skin syndrome is just so, so rampant and uh, our children are beginning to love that which is not theirs. I will not blame them. Okay, like I can, I've been on this challenge. This is my 15th, yes, 15th year of using Ori Okuma. I started when I was 19. So somebody's trying to calculate my age, Benny. And I've been speaking like this publicly since I was 12. So if you want to, yes, and I've been researching about who I am as an African since I was 16. So knowing who I am as an African from 16 till now helped me to take my own decision. And in fact, the first liberty I got was to stop using benzene benzoate. Yes, I remember so well because I researched about it. Mercury. Yes, of course, and you can see I'm a light-skinned person. Just imagine by the time I had benzene, benzoate, add mercury. Yes, so you know all those things where they sell for now. I'm not going to mention any brand. 
Go back home, go use a real kumon, waiting to do me. You see me? Ben, you fresh. In got to bad that is what will determine your skin color. If you like, if you want to do the experiment, enter last giddy, sad, okay? Enter last giddy, go enter more way. Come see, go. I should come on today, especially all, all of us with the last giddy, just watch. As you day inside Molue, just no look, oh, no look like this, oh. just use time. You know, just like, say, if you like, wear good, good, like, wear like this. You just wear. And like this, I go wear them. I will just they look left and right. They don't go, no, say, I they look them. So when you use this, when you wear that one, you go come the, just a freestyle. But I bet if you use one way, even they dark that my room, so that they don't go see your eyeballs, say, they move. <laughs> so when you look, you will go see, say, just watch out those who will be saying then this bleachy, bleachy. You the bleach, oh, you the bleach, yellow fever. All in the name of looking good. You can only remove the outer layer, the inner one. If you didn't feed it well, these dead cells that come on top will disfigure you. And that is it. So some will come white. You know that kind of white. You'll be saying, no good jolo. Then, I do my radon. Many thanks to Canva. Canva developed this black lady's image and it's through ai so i'm beginning to fall in love with ai before be, before it became a general market commodity i was always interested in the quantum computing which is a computer that can actually calculate your eternity and which we have a similitude in africa but somehow somehow we have lost something and we cannot bring it to reality we now live on chance 50-50. However, we are the zero for zero one. You see that zero or one? That's the binary digit on top of free land. So go and uh, check your own. Wait till not get. Wait till your forefathers leave. They don't burn now. Go excavate. Go excavate. Oh. Excavation begins. Oh. If they tell you so, wait till you define. Say you define waiting your forefathers lose. So that uh, the generation coming behind us will thank us. Today, the challenge is, are you black? Are you beautiful? And are you bold today? As you are going in your strength in the way Lord Mary has created you, remember that you are the BBB. Look at that one we said that they do. You see this one, a triple B. You are the triple B. You are beautiful. You are black. You are bold. And in fact, your identity begins first. This identity crisis on top of free land, where we say, even when man won't marry woman, he will come to look, shake, he, we have fair skinned ladies. In fact, in my own, in my own house, I'm actually the darkest. So, in my, so imagine, okay, I think my, my baby sis is actually darker than I am, but growing up, right now she's darker, right? I don't know why, but growing up, I used to be the darkest, okay, before she came. <laughs> Yes, I was. So when you think I'm, yes, I am black. I am a black woman. I am beautiful and I am bold. So now don't get it mixed up. Even if you bleach, say if you bleach your DNA, come on. Well, last, last. Because we don't know xenotransplantation now. That one are just science. I know they perform. Serious. Eh, uh -huh. my people, salam alaikum. Sonunku, ndewo. Anything where they fall for you. Remember, say they fall for us. So far, say we love each other. In the unity and the peace of the African. This uh, neck, uh, what do I call it now? Neck is not neck bead. Okay, neck bead I'm wearing was made by a Fulani person and I'm proud of it. This is also Africa. I say, just imagine if I wear this thing, go my Uyibo office. She do not go shout. <laughs> she go shout. And it's, it's made with leather. This is the leather made from the skin. Of our animals on the continent of Africa after we shop the meat inside. So don't tell me, say, yes, yeah, made from leather, the same leather they used to make your shoe. Yes. And I've, I've had it now for more than five years. Wow, it's more than that. Yes, we did a cultural heritage and I decided to give it out to children. So I've always been this, this is my own challenge to myself. I don't know the challenge you will give to yourself. Let's be proud of our identity. And the, the person that decided to add the cowrie because, and it's original, man, it's beautiful. It's original cowrie because of my identity as a Yoruba woman. I love this. I don't know about you, but now today is the 
skin challenge. Don't jettison that which is yours. Always embrace it and look for a way to make it better. There's something I saw over the week and it's good that we hear together. We understand together and probably, you know, I was it proportionate, appropriate. That's the word. In one of my papa language, last class. Appropriate our lives with it. And what is it? It is the fact that when our people still <laughs> on top of Finland, they don't really like us so much. They don't like themselves. Only bank pare, long paja. Let me say the parasite inside the dog, they kill himself. If they think say na na dog in the kill, you get them. So a bank pare, long paja. That is the reality of majority of us. So now. I'm trying to get feedback so I will know. Say those people who did the radio, they hear me. Many thanks for everybody with the on top of the spirit. I appreciate you. And you are the reason why we are here. Don't forget, say if you download the radio to post seven. Yes, the time is fast spent today. But if I did not come, I'm a la le, they will not allow me to rest. Because it is something we must do, we must talk about, and we would always do. But before you go, in this your skin. In this our skin syndrome. I will say yours because maybe some of you still they bleach. <laughs> so somebody was saying that uh, the foreigners they they were not our problem, they were not the source of our problem. In fact, we are the architect of our own doom. Mm. Maybe yes, and maybe the answer is no. Why will I say yes and why will I say no? The answer is right here in this audio that uh, professor spoke about foreign interest. Do you know there are foreign interest on your land? So let's hear. Boy, you can be told and retold. So Baba said the thing where we say the Dabaru way happened to you can be told and retold. So now the organization of African Union or anything where you call them, now it be the OAU. So the Dabaru made way happen to them. You can, in fact, it is obvious because Africa is the only continent that the Peking them go find life for another place. So let's see here. Some say that it was a toothless bulldog. Others they say now toothless bulldog for real. You know, he give us cream self. So why is OA? Why is it that we are not proud of a wow old? We are not black, we are not beautiful, we are not bold. Let us speak to ourselves today and wake up. Say that it was not even a dog. But whatever it was, it cannot be denied that it made a contribution to the process of decolonization. Of so now, when you are thinking of the use of the past, we are quick to actually blame the elders. Ah, they have done this, oh, they have done that, oh, what check back, Coco Papa is soon. But there were good things they did. So now, but you see this syndrome, this skin syndrome, when we say we prefer that which is foreign to that which is our own, is actually affecting you and I. Just imagine our own forefathers, they preferred another man's forefather to their own. And then we began to research and see that, because we thought in Danale, the Bobina and Ishiwa, that means. All forefathers have their own element of badness. But uh, when our own forefathers decided to decision their own, you know, all of us, our own, own, own. Now, we that we are here, we are moving away gradually from what our immediate forefathers took. Why? It's because we have lost something. And that has a lot to do with identity crisis, in which an African would naturally prefer to change his physical outlook. MJ, Michael Jackson is a good example. Let us learn and rise up. Okay, we had the Women's Day, the Mother's Day, beg your pardon, the Mother's Day. So we were not able to bring you the extra gist, but don't worry, it is hot. The extra gist. The Sunday extra gist is coming up and it's just 
it's just so bad. You know, I always give you that which is bad. So I'll meet you Sunday. So don't miss the Sunday extra gist. If you have not gotten the reggae shot, you've not gotten the Afrobeat shot, don't miss the R and B shot that is coming. And it's also we we spotlight great African men and women who have made their part impact on the continent of Africa. So Professor they talk. The continent in many ways complete with the establishment of the liberation unit of it, which was headquartered in Dar es Salaam in the, United, in the United Republic of Tanzania, which was spearheaded the decolonization of quite a number of countries at that time. But the point that I'm making is that the pan-African spirit at that time was about a united Africa. Okay, now this is the problem with us as Africans, we keep talking about this thing, United Africans, Pan-African, this one. Can we redefine it, what it means to be a Pan-African? Africa is so big that it can swallow some continent. And if you have just been tra well traveled, you will discover that some of this continent, yes, I'm about to wrap up this thought. Some of this continent, they have their individual identities. Check the Europe first, for example. The French is there. The German is there. Eh? Is it, at least those who never come out. We remember the Brexit, right? Why is it that they hear this syndrome? Dark skin syndrome. Why is it that? For, okay, for Germany, who did German? Who did Germany? Not with the German. What be their language? You call them German or you call them Dutch? In France, who did it? Not with the French. And what be their language? Is it not French? Abi, Francais? So why is it that when you are talking of Africa, you forget those people who make up Africa? Why is it cool, this dark skin, light skin syndrome, not a big game for Africa today? It is okay for the Brits to come and tell you that, oh, we want Brexit. But it is not okay. It is not okay for the Somalis to chase back their roots. Why is it that you want to put all of us as diversified as we are in the same, in the same colony? Why don't you allow Africans to develop along their lines and their ways and their, the way God has given them? In quotes, please. Because your concept of God may not even be the concept of God of another person. Why? These are the questions we must ask and answer. Why is it that we force ourselves? And when it is another man who is white, we just say, I just leave them. It's okay. Why is it okay for the white and it is not okay for the black? Wake up. If it is okay for the white, it is okay for the black. If it is okay for you to have freedom, liberty, to live and survive in your land, it is also okay for the blacks to have liberty and freedom to survive in their land. May the sound of this time carry this wave and let it activate the mindset of every African true son of the soil. Why is it okay for us to ask for reparation? from the Brits, from the Portuguese, from the French. And it is not okay for us to ask for reparation from the knowledge of our forefathers who sold us. Why? Why? Why is it okay for somebody to sit somewhere to control the affairs of Africans? And it is Africans as a whole Put all of us together in all of our languages, in all of our diversities and bigness. Bigness, in quote. And it is not okay for the whole of the Europe 
for the whole of the America. Put them all together in one bushel. Two. It is the wake up call. These are the questions you must answer today so that your son, your daughter, when I say your son, your daughter, I am talking about everyone that we carry your DNA. Either as the mixed race or as a pure bread. I am lucky to be a pure breed from my ancestors. I don't know. I didn't come from anywhere. My forefathers have always been in my land. I don't know about you, but we love each other in unity and we move on. But why is it okay for the white man to, to take up her own identity, his own identity? But it is not okay for the white, for the black woman, for the black man to take up his or her own identity. Why? Until we answer this question, we will keep merry-go-rounding. We will keep fighting each other. We will keep pulling each other down. Why is it okay for a part on the continent of Africa to want to dominate another part? Whereas in the Western world, they give themselves boundaries. They fight for their boundaries. Why is it okay for them to fight for their boundaries, for their land? Those of us who are in America, you know what is happening to the Mexicans at the border right now. Why is it okay for them to put barbed wire? Why is it okay for them to put barricade? But on the continent of Africa, you want to open us up. Why is it okay we are not respected? And it is okay for others to be respected. The answer is in you. The answer is in me. Until this mirror image wakes and fix Africa, we will move nowhere. And when I am talking about it, don't get it mixed up. I am not talking about your religious beliefs. It's okay. That's okay. You can even believe in this phone, if it's serving your purpose. Because the world is going to the right time. You can actually believe in Palasa. If it's serving your purpose, so be it. But in your belief in this palace, it must not bring you down, make you lesser than an African, make you lesser than a white man, make you lesser than the whole universe. The whole universe is about you today, Tegela. Okay, I just decided to wake us up and we'll be bringing it. This, this syndrome, you must solve it. This one where you they look and so you must address it. You must. The dark skin versus light skin syndrome. Many thanks to the awesome mind who were able to create this, help me create this. I made it, but I was able to use the AI of Canva. Great one. I typed it in and it brought. Okay, why is it okay for Canva? Young ladies, yeah, young women, young men. To be able to do these stuff, and Africans, we are just consumers. Can we wake up? Say the wake up call. We would wake up, and all of us will wake up. It's your girl, Ajoke, shouting it loud. This is Do the Spray FM on African Radio. You are welcome to today's morning spray. Kukuru, ku.
Your girl at the candy right here on to do sweet and then to change that dog. This is the spray, 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 sp